सो है एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ अ नोट जे सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सर्वर यूजिंग नोट जे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट इट वी आर द एच मेथड व्हिच इज द रॉ वे ऑफ डूइंग इट एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द सेम सर्वर यूजिंग द पॉपुलर फ्रेमवर्क लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एक्सप्रेस जे एस ओके सो नाउ लेट्स ओपन अवर कोड एडिटर वी एस कोड एंड वी ऑलरेडी हैव अ फोल्डर ओपन हियर Uh, you can open any folder if you are new to VS Code from the top left corner here by clicking on the file option, and it will redirect you to your uh, documents. And from there, you can create or open your existing folder. So now we are going to create a root file for our uh, application. Uh, to know more what about what root file is, you can check our previous video on Node.js. So now we are going to initiate our project using the command npm init y and it will uh, initiate the project with the default values here as you can see it doesn't have an author name and all that extra information but it has the necessary default values okay so the first thing we need to do is create a variable http and then we are going to import the inbuilt mo http module using the require function and we are going to store the reference in our http variable okay next thing we need to do is create a server variable and this new server variable hold a reference to the server object which will be created when we use the http create server method this create server method will create an instance of the http server and we will uh, need a callback function the callback function will take the request and response in the argument now this request uh, we will receive a request object when we run our server and this request object can be console log but it will give lots of information so we don't need it right now and now what we can do is we can send a response so we will use the write method to send a response via http and let's write hey welcome to our server another important thing to do is to end the response using the end method if you don't end the response then the connection will stay open and there can be a possible timeout and other errors so now we will listen on a certain port so let's listen on port 3000 so if you open on local 3000 the server should start listening and we will need a callback function uh, for logging out in our terminal when we run our server so we'll uh, type server is ready and listening and done and dusted now we can run our server so we'll open the terminal and just like any other javascript file we can just write node app.js to run our server and as you can see the server is ready and listening logged out and now we need to check our server on port 3000 so we will type http localhost 3000 and as you can see our server is running and it is uh, sending us the response hey welcome to our server okay so now let's do one thing let's console log uh, the request that we are receiving the request object so what we're going to do is console.log and we're going to log the entire request object so it's a uh, quite a big request object but one thing you can notice that we have to uh, restart the server every time we make changes in the code so this time what we're going to do is we're going to install nodemon with the help of nodemon uh, we don't need to restart our server every time and we have installed it globally uh, with the g flag so now instead of node app.js what we're going to do is we're going to type nodemon app.js and this time if we make any changes in the server in the future then we don't need to restart the server so let's see we will refresh it and we will get the request object uh, via our argument and it should log out as you can see uh, all that green is the values and as you can see the entire request object it has so many properties with so many values and you can use that uh, request object in many things that you do with your code okay so that's it for our http server and we will know more about http servers in our uh, next future videos so now let's create this same small server in via express.js library so here for express.js instead of http we will require express 
and here also let's replace HTTP with Express but Express unlike HTTP is not an inbuilt module but is an external package so we have to install it using the node package manager so we will npm and we just write i npm install express and it will take a few seconds here and done so now if you go into package.json you can see in the dependencies we have a new dependency which is express js library so we will use this in our app here the express library framework comes with lots of features so we don't need this http part we will remove this and instead we will create a instance of express app so an express instance creates an instance of a server which can handle http request we will store it in our app variable we are using the express function so express is a function when called it creates express application okay so instead of new server we are going to use this express instance so it will be app dot listen it will listen on 3000 port and it will have a callback function which will say server is ready and listening okay so that's it now what we need to do is we are going to handle the request so we are going to use the instance and the get method to handle get requests on our home page and it will also have a callback function so the callback function will send a response so it should be response dot send so uh, remember we used a uh, dot write in http and here it's dot send so hey there you are on correct server another thing you can notice that here we are specifically handling get request on the uh, contrary in http we were not handling any specific request like get post or put uh, so uh, we will uh, talk about this in our later videos how you can uh, sp uh, specify get request in http it has a different way of doing that so now let's open our terminal and we can run this using okay so this time we will do it in a different way so we are going to define a script so what we are going to do is we are going to go into a package.json and here in the script we are going to create a new script and we are going to uh, name the script start so it should work when we type npm start and here uh, it will execute the command nodemon app.js okay so now let's write here npm start and it has executed the command nodemon app.js as you can see and our server is ready and it's listening so we'll go on the same uh, port 3000 and we're going to okay so we have a error here okay so we have not defined res so we need that in our argument here in our app.get we should get a request and a response object and now as you can see due to node mon we don't have to start our server again and it's ready and listening so we'll just refresh and as you can see hey there you are on the correct server so that's it from this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any doubts you can just uh, post it in your comments and don't forget to like and subscribe this video our next video will be on how to handle different HTTP request types like get, post, put and we will also release some videos on TypeScript. So see you in your next videos. Till then keep coding.